find the angle OCD in terms of X where O is a center. Okay, so here this O is a center. Okay, you got this information, O is a center. And this angle is given to be 2X. Okay, if this is not clear, this is 2X. And you want to write this angle, this angle OCD in terms of X. So what can we do? So if this is 2X, so this is angle, this, what's the angle, what's the measure of this angle? This angle, this angle adds to 180, so this is 180 minus 2x. Let me write it bigger, so this is 180 minus 2x. Because they are angles on a straight line. So you can say angle EOC, E O C is equal to 180 minus 2x. The reason is, I'll write the reason in bracket angles on straight line. Straight line adds to 180 degree. Adds to 180 degree. So if this is 2x, this is 180 minus 2x. Okay. Okay, what's the next thing? So this is the first measure that you can find. What's the next thing that you can do? Okay, now if you think about this. Okay, now these two are parallel. Uh, these two lines are parallel. This line, side is parallel to this side. So this angle and this angle are called co-interior angles. Okay, and co-interior angles, parallel lines, they are supplementary. Okay, so we can say the second reason is angle OED, this angle OED, angle OED is, angle OED, let me write the reason, plus this angle EOC, angle EOC, they add to 180 degree. 180 degree, the reason is, angles, uh, co-interior angles, the reason is like this, co-interior angles, parallel lines, parallel lines, this is enough, and that's what it means, the co-interior angles, parallel lines add up to 180. So this is 180 minus 2x, this has to be 2x because this and this will cancel each other out. So you can say angle OED is equal to 2x. Okay, so that's done. Okay, now if you have got a circle, there's a, a very important result in the earth center here. Yeah? So if this angle, there's a relation between this angle and this angle. Okay, so this is called angle at the center, and this is angle at the circle. So if this is x, if this angle is x, this would be half, or if this angle is 2x, this angle would be x. Or in other words, angle at the center is double the angle at the circumference, or angle at the circumference is half the angle at the center. So I wanted to look at these two angles. So look at this angle angle EOC and angle EAB. E, no, sorry, EO, EAC. EAC. If you look at EO, this angle I'm talking about, let me use a different color. I'm talking about this angle, EOC and EAC, <coughs> this angle. So can you see if this is 180 minus 2x, this would be half of this angle. So, <clears throat> so I'll try to finish it off here. Angle, I can say EAC is half of angle EOC. EOC, the reason is angle at center or angle at circumference, angle at circ this is angle at circumference, 
is half is half angle at center angle at center this is a geometric reason you can prove this i made a video on this simple or this is an important uh, rule in circle geometry so if this is 180 minus 2x the half of this is would be 90 minus x okay so you can say half of this is so you can say angle eac is 90 minus x okay now you're almost there 90 minus x okay now what can we do now i want you to look at this quadrilateral this quadrilateral this red quadrilateral and this red quadrilateral is called a cyclic quadrilateral because the vertices are on the circle so what do you know about the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral if you look at this quadrilateral all the vertices are on the circle so you can say let me slightly scroll up quadrilateral a e d c a e d c is a cyclic quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral which implies the opposite angles opposite angles add to 180 add to 180 degree so you can say so let me show the working here you can say this 90 this angle plus this angle would be 180 so I can say <coughs> EDC angle E D C this angle plus 90 minus X is equal to 180 so let's move this to the other side so you can say angle E D C E D C is 180 minus 90 plus X so this is 90 plus X so this is 90 plus X okay now you have to look at this quadrilateral this is too much of working so I want you to look at this green quadrilateral the opposite angles or all the tri the angles of a quadrilateral add to 180 that's one reason you can see or you can see these two are also co-interior angles. I'm not writing this again. See, if this and this adds to 180, this and this should also add to 180 because they're opposite angles of it. Or co-interior angles, that's one way of looking at it. Or if you add all of them, it has to be 360. Now, if you add this two, can you see minus 2x and plus 2x gets cancelled? So that's 180. So this and this should also add to 180. So what should be the angle here so obviously i hope you can see this should be 90 minus x so if you think in a logical way say minus x and plus x gets cancelled so this and this adds to 180 and minus 2x and 2x gets cancelled so this is also this also adds to 180 so the four angles add to 360 and that's what we wanted so final answer is find the angle in terms of x so this is 90 minus x